Hi friends, welcome to classes by Lab Doctor. This is Dr. Divya, and in today's class, let us study about the sperm count in semen analysis. So, uh, in the previous classes, we have uh, dealt with the sample collection, the physical examination, may it be the color of the semen, the pH of the semen, the viscosity of the semen, the liquefaction time, etc. Today, we will uh, see the microscopic examination of uh, semen in which we will concentrate on the sperm count. So, uh, you all know that as per the WHO criteria, the sperm concentration the, uh, per ml should be be at least 15 million uh, per ml and the same the total sperm number per ejaculate has to be at least 39 million so what is the difference between sperm concentration and the total sperm count so the sperm concentration refers to the number of sperm per unit volume per ml of semen may kitna sperms hai वो है स्पर्म कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एक एम एल ऑफ सेमेन में कितना स्पर्म्स है दैट इज द स्पर्म कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड इसका लिमिट क्या होना चाहिए 15 टू 259 मिलियन हो सकता है पर एम एल बट मिनिमम 15 मिलियन तो होना चाहिए पर एम एल ऑफ सेमेन टोटल स्पर्म काउंट क्या है टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्पर्म इन द इजैकुलेट वो टोटल इजैकुलेट निकलता है उसमें कितने स्पर्म्स है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द टोटल स्पर्म काउंट सो द टोटल स्पर्म काउंट इन द इजैकुलेट द मिनिमम हैज टू बी 39 मिलियन द मैक्सिमम कैन बी अप टू 928 मिलियन बट द मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ स्पर्म्स इन द एंटायर इजैकुलेट हैज टू बी at least 39 million ml so the sperm concentration is uh, how do we assess it by the help of a hemocytometer though it is laborious ye time consuming hai but uh, this is usually done in most of the laboratory we mix the uh, semen with the uh, uh, semen diluting fluid the phosphate buffered saline and we assess the sample so and we uh, try and count at least 200 uh, spermatozoa so this sperm count whatever is there what we do is we mix this 10 microliter of semen to 190 microliter of the semen diluting fluid so semen diluting fluid will have the uh, bicarbonates it will have formalin etc so this uh, 190 microliter of uh, semen diluting fluid is mixed with 10 microliter of semen and uh, then it is mixed well and after shaking it for 3 minute this is charged into the hemocytometer so 10 microliter of this mixture it put into the hemo uh, cytometer it is wait uh, we wait for 2 to 3 minutes to settle it down and we count the semen in this 5 uh, grids the rbc grid the central grid so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 so whatever sperms you get when you uh, count uh, in this five grids you have to multiply it with 1 million to get the number of sperms per ml of semen so we only count the complete sperms we are not counting only the head or only the tail etc the complete sperm should be counted and you have to follow this l rule so here you can see this is the grid and this is the formula so the formula would be the number of sperms counted into 1 million that would give the uh, number of sperms per ml of semen so if you see the formula here the you will see that the number of uh, cells which are counted that is per 5 square so that the two corners square the four corner square and one center square then you have the dilution factor 1 in 20 and the volume of the 5 square that is 20 nanoliter that will give rise to n into 10 raised to 6 perms per ml so the number of sperms which you are counting per row or per column that is the sperm concentration per ml and i have told you when you get the sperm concentration and you multiply it with the ejaculate uh, quantity ml of ejaculate that will give you the 
total sperm concentration so remember total sperm concentration is the total number of sperms in the ejaculate whereas the sperm concentration is the number of sperms per ml of semen also you can see a semen analysis report where they have written given the sperm count so the sperm count it should be i have told you the minimum is 15 uh, million per ml so it should be more than 15 million per ml and the total sperm count in the ejaculate it should be more than 39 ml per ejaculate so here you that will be given in the sperm count so that is meaning of sperm count and the total sperm count so total sperm count is for the entire ejaculate and sperm count is for the ml so the lower limit of total sperm count is around 39 uh, million and the lower limit of sperm count per ml is around 15 million per ml the both the sperm concentration and total sperm count they are related to the uh, fertile capacity of the man pregnancy rates and they are the predictors of conception so this is an improved new bar uh, hemocytometer which is used to measure the uh, sperms and this is the meckles chambers this is also a counting chamber which is used uh, to uh, rapidly and accurately measure the sperm count so you will have this a uh, lower metal base here and this is the upper uh, cover glass so this also Uh, is used in the uh, counting the sperm so this you should remember the total uh, sperm concentration should be more than 15 million per ml and the total sperm count should be more than 39 ml there are few terminologies which you will have to remember when we discuss the sperm count one is oligospermia so what is oligospermia oligospermia is when you have a low sperm count so low sperm count means when whenever the sperms are less than 15 million per ml of semen that is called as oligospermia polyzoospermia is when the sperm count is very high the sperm count is more than 200 million per ml that is called as polyzoospermia this polyzoospermia can also cause infertility remember just because there are a lot of sperms that doesn't mean that the man is very very fertile this polyzoospermia can also cause infertility because lot of sperms makes the spermatozoa to move progressively and that can cause infertility and azoospermia is when there are no sperms in the ejaculate so these are the terminologies which you have to know with the sperm count that is one is oligospermia second with polyzoospermia and azoospermia oligospermia when the sperm count is less than 15 million per ml polyzoospermia when the sperm count is more than 200 million per ml azoospermia when there are no sperms in the ejaculate so what symptoms will the patient have when he is having low sperm count so the main symptom jo rahega is inability to conceive a child patients ko bachcha nahi ho raha so wo jab hum routinely unka uh, semen analysis karte hai so definitely the sperm count will be very low so they may not have any symptoms it might be picked up only when they come for uh, infertility and infertility case uh, uh, whenever we are testing for infertility we might find out that the man is having low sperm count if at all it is because of certain hormonal abnormalities and all he might have some other symptoms also like if low testosterone patient might have erectile dysfunction low testosterone patient might have low uh, facial or body hair etc if there is any uh, tumor in the testes etc so he might have pain lump etc so these are the few symptoms with which the patients who are having low sperm count will present how do you diagnose the patient is having an oligospermia or a low sperm count when you do a semen analysis sometimes we even do a urine analysis to see if there is any retrograde ejaculation whether the sperms instead of coming through the urethra if they are going back into the uh, urinary bladder we see ultrasound transrectal or scrotal ultrasound to see if there is any abnormality we might have to evaluate the endo 
endocrine system for the hormones we might have to do the genetic testing to see if there is any chromosomal abnormality so these are the few tests which are done in case of oligospermia so i have told you azoospermia is when there is no uh, sperms in the ejaculate it could be because of the post testicular azoospermia because of certain blockage or testicular azoospermia some problem in the testes like any tumors or uh, some infections etc or pre testicular because of certain hormonal abnormalities but remember when we say that azoospermia when there is no sperm in the ejaculate we have to at least get two samples suppose two samples will show that there are no sperms in an ejaculate and it done on two different days do samples do alag alag din pe uh, jab samne semen analysis kiya agar dono samples mein usme sperms nahi dikhte hai then only we can tell that the a person is having azoospermia and the term azoospermia can only be used if no spermatozoa are found in the sediment of the centrifuge sample we will have to centrifuge the sample and we will have to examine the sediment and agar us sediment also we cannot see any sperm then only we can use the term azoospermia so this uh, a definition of azoospermia becomes uh, important when we label a person as azoospermia or he has no sperm in the ejaculate so that is all about the sperm uh, count and the symptoms and the terminologies which are related to the low sperm count in the next class we will concentrate on what are the causes of oligospermia azoospermia etc so that we can find out the cause and we can treat the patients some uh, lifestyle changes some medication some surgeries which will help them to improve the sperm count thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you